Chapter 5 Nervous System The nervous system The nervous system controls all the other systems of our body. It is made up of our brain, spinal cord and an enormous network of nerves that spread throughout the body. Tasting, smelling, seeing, hearing, touching, reading, writing, cooking and feeling pain. We wouldn't be able to do any of these actions without the nervous system. Brain. Brain is the control center of the nervous system. It initiates, controls and coordinates between the various body activities. All our memories get stored in the brain. The brain uses information it receives from the nerves to coordinate all of the bodily actions and reactions. The human brain appears as a pinkish gray mass filling the skull and weighs around 1.4 kg. Our brain has three parts: cerebrum, cerebellum, and medulla. Cerebrum. The cerebrum is the largest part of our brain. It is referred to as the center of intelligence, functions, controls our voluntary muscles to help us with activities such as singing, dancing, skipping, kicking a ball, etc. Helps us to think hard while we solve a math problem, tries to put together a challenging jigsaw puzzle, or to figure out how a new video game works, and so on. It is the place where our memory resides. It also helps us to reason out or think logically, like when you decide that it would be better for you to complete your homework in the afternoon because you have guests visiting in the evening. Cerebellum. This part of the brain is situated below the cerebrum functions. It helps coordinate the actions of the muscles so that they can work together. It helps us stand upright, keep our balance and move around. Medulla or the brain stem. The brain stem or the medulla connects the rest of the brain to the spinal cord which runs down our neck and back. Functions. It is in charge of all the functions the body needs to perform to stay alive such as breathing, digestion and blood circulation. Controls the involuntary muscles such as those in the heart and stomach. It's the medulla that tells the heart to pump more blood when we are exercising or tells the stomach to start digesting food. Spinal cord and nerves. The human brain is undoubtedly a remarkable machine but it cannot work alone. It is able to function with the help of the spinal cord. The spinal cord starts at the narrowed base of the brain and runs down inside the spine. It connects the other body parts to the brain through thread-like structures called nerves. Nerves are made up of bundles of fibers carrying thousands of messages every second. The brain is directly connected to the head and neck by the nerves. The rest of the body parts are connected by nerves through the spinal cord. There are three types of nerves. Sensory nerves carry messages from the sense organs to the brain or the spinal cord. Motor nerves carry orders from the brain or the spinal cord to the muscles. Mixed nerves carry messages to the brain and bring orders from the brain. The spinal cord also controls some actions that do not involve the brain. These actions are called reflex actions. Such an action is the automatic response of the body to a sudden event. These actions occur as a result of messages sent by the spinal cord. Sense organs. We have learnt about sense organs in the previous classes. Information from the outside world enters the body through the sense organs and is sent to the spinal cord for instant response or is relayed to the brain for further processing. A sensory part or organ detects something around us. Our eyes detect light rays while our skin detects touch or things pressing on it. The sensory part then sends tiny bursts of electricity called nerve signals along the nerves to the brain. Let us understand how this works for each of the five sense organs. Sight. Our eyes are at work from the moment we wake up to the moment we close them to go to sleep. They take in varied information about the world around us, shapes, colors, movements and more. Then they send the information to the brain for processing. The optic nerve is like a great messenger at the back of our eye. It carries nerve signals from the eye to the brain. Smell. Up to the roof of the nasal cavity, that is the space behind our nose, is the olfactory epithelium, 
It contains special receptors that are sensitive to odor that travel through the air. When the smell receptors are stimulated, signals travel along the olfactory nerve to the olfactory bulb. Signals are sent from the olfactory bulb to other parts of the brain. To be interpreted as a smell, we may recognize taste. Each taste bud is made up of taste cells which have sensitive microscopic hairs called microvilli. These send messages to the brain which interprets the signals and identifies the taste. Sound The outer ear is called the pinna. The main job of the outer ear is to collect sounds. From the outer ear, the sounds travel to the middle ear. The middle ear's main job is to turn the sound waves into vibrations that are delivered to the inner ear. Sound comes into the inner ear as vibrations and enters a small curled tube in the inner ear. Here, nerve signals get created that the brain understands as sound. Touch The layer on the outside of the skin is called the epidermis. The next layer down is the dermis. The dermis contains nerve endings which tell us how things feel when we touch them. They work with the brain and nervous system so that the brain gets the message about what we are touching. Sometimes what we feel is dangerous so the nerve endings work with the muscles to protect us from getting hurt.